Hello Hard Video Order stuff, welcome back. Today I have a video for you that I think you'll find interesting. What if you could get an Arri style look from your Sony camera? Intrigued? I was too when Joel, the creator of Phantom LUTs, got in touch saying, here are my LUTs that will do just that for your S-Log footage. I think you'll love them, try them out. So I thought, indeed, why not? So here's my review of the Phantom Arri Look LUTs. Unfortunately, I don't have an Arri camera lying around to compare the lookup tables to actual Arri footage. But what comes to mind when you think of the colour and overall look of Arri footage? Accurate, good looking colour, flattering, classy, cinematic, beautiful highlight roll off, roll off and great skin tones? I know the creator of these lookup tables was almost obsessive about matching up Sony and Arri gamma curves and colour palettes. So if they can help me to get my Sony footage looking anywhere closer to Arri footage, then I'm sold. I have linked them below if you want to check them out. But what are they? Well, these LUTs are specifically designed for Sony S-Log2 and 3 footage. And I've heard a lot of people say that you can grade Sony S-Log footage without lookup tables. And personally, I strongly disagree. I've been a firm believer of lookup tables since I first switched to Sony cameras. And in my experience, S-Log really needs LUTs to undo or decode the S-Log gamma curve to give you contrast in a pleasing way. But don't forget, with S-Log, we also usually use a very large color space like S Gamma 3 Cine, and that's the other reason why LUTs are so important. The LUT you choose is super important for telling the color in your footage what it should look like. With the Phantom LUTs package, you get five different LUTs, which is less than you would normally get in a typical LUT pack. But when you think about it, these LUTs are trying to do one specific job, to deliver an Arri Alexa style look. So I think five is just fine. The five LUTs give you a few different options depending on your shooting conditions. But of course, Harv's always got your back. And if you're interested in grabbing these, you can use the promo code Harv to get 20% off and no, this is not a paid promotion. Joel the creator says the first in the pack, natural, is a neutral Arri look, no colour cast or look, just the classic Arri Rec 709 look. The second, tungsten, is a slightly warmer golden cast designed to be utilised for subjects bathed in tungsten light. The third, ice blue, has a cooler cast with punchy deep blues. The fourth, Green Eyes has a subtle cast, distinctive filmic greens, and as the name suggests, particularly good with green-eyed subjects. The fifth, and probably my favourite, is called Utopia, and Joel says this is the most filmic look of all the LUTs, with blood red reds and filmic blues and greens. And this brings me to the most important question, are they good? It's subjective, of course, but I love them. I can't say if they really give me the footage of an Arri look because I've never shot with an Arri camera, nor have I ever graded Arri footage. But I love what these LUTs do to my video, and here are the reasons why. Firstly, the highlight roll off you get with these LUTs is very, very welcome. For those of you who are not sure what highlight roll-off is, it's the transition from the brighter areas in your scene to pure white. To achieve this look, usually I have to use curves to sculpt the highlights in my footage. With one of these LUTs, there's rarely any need to touch them at all. Secondly, the colour that these LUTs bring out in your footage is very pleasing. It tends to lean towards the punchy, contrasty, bold primary colour side of things. And I have to say I really like the look they give skin tones, which of course is uh, a known weakness of Sony colour science. And thirdly is how much they speed up my grading process. All the LUTs are doing is shifting your colours to a very flattering palette and adding a contrast curve to decode your ugly looking S-Log 2 or 3 footage. Which sounds simple, but damn, they do it well. Another cool thing I noticed was that I needed to do very little tweaking of the colour temperature in my footage because I can just pick 
either a warmer or cooler LUT depending on the situation because you have the tungsten and ice blue options. The same goes for the tint, and by tint I mean the balance of green to magenta. Because I have the green eyes and Utopia LUTs, the latter of which I find has a touch more magenta in a very pleasing way. So my final impression of the Phantom LUTs is a very good one. It feels like a very premium package, as you only get five LUTs for your money, but they are undeniably high quality. Joel has obviously poured his heart and soul into making them because they just ooze quality. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I've got a large back catalogue of videos about video on this channel, of which YouTube recommends this one for you, and my latest upload, which will be just underneath. If you're not subscribed, then definitely hit the blob on this side, and until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.